Hello, my name is Michele Ghidini. I'm a medical oncologist working in the operative unit of oncology in Cremona, Italy. The aim of our review is to summarize the available literature data on baloblastin. Baloblastin is a novel long-acting recombinant colony stimulating factor. Granulocyte colony stimulating factors are recommended to preserve the absolute neutrophils count in case of chemotherapy regimens bringing a risk of febrile neutropenia of 20% or higher. Recombinant granulocyte colony stimulating factors such as filgrastin and lenograstin have a short elimination half-life and need to be used daily, while others like pecfigrastin and lipecfigrastin have a long half-life and require a single administration per cycle. Balubrastin is obtained by linking granulocyte current stimulating factor to recombinant human albumin, so that albumin binding increases the molecular weight of the compound and determines a high plasmatic stability of almost 19 days. Balubrastin's efficacy, safety and tolerability have been assessed in four different trials. A phase 1-2A, a phase 2 and two phase 3 studies, all involving breast cancer patients treated with doxorubicin and docetaxel. Both the phase 1 and 2 trials reported a good safety and tolerability profile. The two phase 3 studies, which compared balograstin with pecfigrastin, showed a comparable efficacy and the known inferiority of balograstin in reducing the mean duration of severe neutropenia and so the amount of days with an absolute neutrophils count inferior to 500 per microliter in the first cycle of chemotherapy. The dose of 40 mg had better efficacy parameters compared to the 50 mg dose such as reduced mean duration of severe neutropenia and minor incidence of febrile neutropenia during cycle 1 of chemotherapy. Moreover, balograstin 40 mg registered fewer grade 4 adverse events than the 50 mg dose. In conclusion, balograstin represents a valid alternative to pecfigrastin when a long-acting granulocyte colony stimulating factor is required in clinical practice. Further research involving different tumor types and chemotherapy combination is certainly needed. Thank you very much for watching this video.